before he became a renowned actor, Kenneth Moore first made a name for himself in the Royal Navy during World War II. His military background greatly influenced his performances, allowing him to bring authenticity to his roles. From serving his country to captivating audiences, Moore's journey is a testament to his talent and dedication. Born in Gerrard's Cross, Buckinghamshire in 1914, Kenneth Moore came from a family of civil engineers. After his father's death, Moore's education was cut short, and he attempted to join the RAF, but failed the entry medical test. Following in his family's footsteps, he became an apprentice at Sentinel Wagon Works Lantide, before eventually becoming a Sainsbury's shop assistant and attempting to work as a fur trapper in Canada. After returning from Canada, Kenneth Moore found work as a stagehand at the Windmill Theatre in London. Although he initially helped with scenery and removing nude actors from the stage, he soon realized his own passion for performing. By 1935, Moore became a key actor in a comedy sketch show and went on to perform in various plays. However, the outbreak of World War II temporarily halted his acting career as he served as an ambulance driver in Wolverhampton. After receiving a commission as a lieutenant in the Royal Navy, Kenneth Moore began his service aboard the cruiser HMS Aurora 12. As an officer of the watch, he dutifully reported enemy activity to his fellow shipmates below deck. Later, he transferred to the aircraft carrier HMS Victorious R-38 and continued to serve in various theaters of war, including the Atlantic, Pacific, and Mediterranean. Throughout his time in the Navy, Moore played a role in significant events such as the bombardment of Sicily and the transportation of King George VI to Malta. He even found himself en route to Japan when the devastating atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. For his contributions during the war, Moore was awarded three campaign stars. After being demobilized in 1946, he returned to Wolverhampton to pursue his passion for the stage, once again joining a repertory company. Kenneth Moore's return to acting in 1946 was perfectly timed, coinciding with the revival of British TV after the war. He quickly made a name for himself on both the small and big screens, thanks to his authentic portrayal of war-related roles like an ex-RAF pilot in the Deep Blue Sea. Moore's ability to bring his own war experiences to his performances made him a household name and one of Britain's most popular leading men until 1960. Following the 1960s, Kenneth Moore's career took a downward turn. His first box office flop came with Man in the Moon in 1960, and things didn't improve when he lost a role in The Guns of Navarone to David Niven due to a dispute with the managing director. Moore's personal life, including a controversial third marriage, may have contributed to his decline. He turned to television, with notable appearances in The Foresight Saga and A Tale of Two Cities, before his health declined due to Parkinson's disease and multiple system atrophy, MSA. In 